Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today I am so excited because I get to share with you some brand new products from Missing Stamps, including their lovely unicorn stamp set and their rainbow stencil sets. This is such a beautiful stamp set. It has three beautiful unicorns and lots of amazing sentiments. This one here says, never play leapfrog with a unicorn. And I used to say that all the time to my sisters when they asked me for a tip. And it was kind of a joke with us, which is why I knew I was going to love this set to begin with. There are a lot of other great sentiments as well, and I'm going to be using most of them on our cards today. This slimline stencil is a long cloud stencil, but it also, as you can see, has some decorative swirls in the middle. And it is long. It is nine inches long, which is longer than most slimline card fronts are so you have an opportunity to kind of adjust this as needed there's a smaller cloud line on the top a larger cloud line on the bottom and that swirl set fits perfectly with the larger cloud line so i'm going to show you how to use that here's one of the stencil sets that's the rainbow that i love this is kind of a builder set where you can match up the rainbows build your rainbow with all the colors there and then they have also a decorative set that goes over the top. So the decorative set has some hearts and some dots and stars, all kinds of decorative pieces that you could want for your rainbows. So they make very unique rainbows. There's so much opportunity to mix and match with these. You will be able to create so many unique rainbows with this set. And today I'm gonna to show you a couple of them just to get your creative juices flowing. This is one of the sets that they are giving away. And so be sure to comment on the Miss Ink Stamps YouTube channel on all the new release videos because they will be randomly selecting three commenters from across all the release preview videos. You could win the masking stencils, polka dot stencils, both of the new rainbow layering stencil sets, and so it's an awesome giveaway. They're also having a lot of giveaways on Instagram. Now I showed you a couple of the star stencils they also have, and this one here is one of my favorites. It's the Heart Cloud Builder stencils. And you can see here, there are some lines that are etched into these stencils so you can line them up perfectly on your card panels. And so many options for building up these clouds. I'll show you what these look like on a card. They are absolutely beautiful. Let's get to creating. I'm going to start off by showing you this slimline cloud stencil. I love this stencil. Look how easy it is. You just put the stencil on, use a blender brush or any of your brushes of choice and add some color. I'm going to darken this one up a little so you can see it just a little better in the video. There we go. And now you have the opportunity to change the size or change the direction of the clouds just to get a really interesting sky. For this one, I'm just gonna use all the same color just to show you how to use this stencil. See how I'm turning it just a little bit down to the right so it doesn't look like the same exact clouds. And now I'm gonna add that swirl that's in the center just to give it some interest. So I'm gonna line it up with what I stenciled before there in the middle. And I'm gonna take a little bit darker of a blue ink and ink that up over the swirl and look at that interesting look that you get. I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time on this bottom one and I'm gonna take an even darker color and look at this. So beautiful, what a pretty swirl to add to your clouds. Now you can also do it with not just inks. And here I'm gonna color it up with some rainbow colors. I couldn't resist. I mean, we're talking about rainbows and unicorns, right? <laughs> but for this one, I'm gonna add those swirls using some glitter paste. And this also adds a really subtle and unique look to your card. I'm gonna peel this up and hopefully you can see that glitter here in the video. It is so beautiful. Now moving on to the rainbow builder, I'm just gonna build up, I wanted to do this one with the hearts. So I'm choosing the rainbow that kind of matches that design. So this is the one I'm gonna use here. And I'm just going to use some small ink daubers here. These are my finger daubers. And I'm using these so I don't have to tape off that other arc of the rainbow. 
you can just stay right inside the lines there. And I'm just going to clean that up just a little so I don't get pink in my yellow. Just wanted to be a little bit careful on that, the yellow there. And now I'm going to add the second rainbow builder and fill in those colors. So I've got orange going in between the pink and the yellow. And then I'm going to add a green. This is evergreen bow, which is one of my favorite greens. And this gives us the opportunity to add those hearts. And I'm going to use purple for the hearts because I didn't use that in my rainbow. And I decided to use a lighter purple for this. So I'm going in with this lighter distress ink. And then since I'm missing some blue in my rainbow, I'm going to add the blue to those decorative dots in the center and the lines. Look how pretty this rainbow turns out. And I thought I would add a little cloud with this rainbow sky. I didn't show you this stencil in the beginning, but I'm going to be making a couple cards with it as well. It's become one of my favorites. There's a larger cloud we can add there. And there's hearts and stars also on that stencil that you can easily add as well. But for this one, I thought I would show you the star one. So I'm going to create a rainbow matching this star one. Just going to quickly ink this up. And I did tape off the center one this time. So you can always use some tape to tape off the one you don't want to ink up. Very simple to do, but you can see that mostly there's plenty of space in between the lines so that you don't have to tape them off if you don't want to. I love that about this design. They really thought of everything. So I added the stars in the center of that one and I'll ink up those lines using some turquoise. Look how pretty this turns out. So I'm also going to add some darker stars over the top with a darker orange. And then of course, I'm going for some stickles. This one's called unicorn stickles. So I thought it was perfect <laughs> for these cards. I'm just going to add a little bit to those stars to that layer. I'm just going to spread that out a touch with my finger where I got it a little bit too much. And there is our beautiful rainbow. For this cloud builder, I just wanted to show you real quick what these look like. I'm inking up the first layer with a lighter purple. Then I'm going to add the second layer on top and ink that just a little bit darker. Now you can go with different colors if you want. You can do it a little darker or with a different color, but look how pretty these turn out. For the second one, I'm going to use the inside pieces and I'm going to ink it up with blue. So the outside layer is going to be this peacock feathers and then I'll layer up that inside piece right in the middle and I'm going to ink it on with a darker blue. I think that if you do that, you can tell, you can distinguish between those clouds a little better. Look at that beautiful cloud panel. Now I'm going very quickly through these because I do have a lot of cards to share, but check this out. This rainbow sky has an earth in it, like the world. So on this one, I'm going to ink up the world, then ink up the rainbow coming down over the world add a cloud and you're going to see in the end what this turns out to be like with a unicorn on top. This is just to give you an idea of how amazing all the different things you can create with these sets. I'm going to color up these unicorns very quickly. This first one is going to have a rainbow mane using some different rainbow colors. I just chose some of my favorite colors of ink, so I'm not going to be sharing all the colors here because I used so many. These are really fun to color. But you definitely don't need to color the mains all rainbow. I'm going to show you a couple different options. For the unicorn itself, I'm using some colors of purple to color it up. So that gives it an image of being white, but it has some purple undertones. For this one sitting down, I use some pink undertones, really light to color that body. And for this one, I'm using a variety of blues to color up the mane and the tail. And I'm just alternating between those colors. I think this is so pretty with the different colors. Lots of options. So I'll finish this one up here as well. And then I'm going to move on to that last one. For the last one, I decided to color the body up with some warm grays. 
so you can see the difference. And I realize on video this is coming out pretty light, but there are some variations in the way these unicorns look. For the mane, I'm just using an orange, a pink, and a yellow, and I'm alternating between those colors, and that gives it a real fun look as well. These unicorns are a really great size also for your cards, and as I show you the cards, you're going to see how these all come together. And I did make his hooves kind of gold looking. I colored them up in yellows to make it look gold. <laughs> Another fun option. I colored a bunch of unicorns and now I'm going to show you these cards. Here's the one I did with the rainbow builder and that cloud. And he is just laying on that cloud. That sentiment says it's going to be a rainbows and unicorns kind of day. And I added some sequins also. You have permission to add as much glitter or sequins or whatever you want to these cards. <laughs> and that's one reason I love them. This unicorn, I added a lot of glitter to his body. So if you don't want to color up his body, just go ahead and add some glitter. That's using the heart cloud builder. And I added the sentiment that says you're one of a kind. Here's the one rainbow stamp I just stamped on. I believe in you on there and added a mat of the same color of cardstock and that's the only one I have with without a unicorn on it <laughs> but just wanted to show you you can make some beautiful cards just using the rainbow builder set this one says your pure magic and I use the unicorn with the golden hooves added a little bird that he's kind of talking to and put him on that cloud heart builder stencil that one's pretty simple but also very beautiful Here's the one with the earth, and I added some glitter to the earth and to the mane and tail of the unicorn and to that cloud. I added some purple stars to the background with that star stencil that I showed you, and this came together so fun. What an interesting card, isn't it? Really glittery too. This is the first cloud builder stencil we made. I cut it down to be a mini slimline, added uh, the sentiment wishing you a magical day. Put some flowers around his neck like a little necklace and added extra glitter to his body. That's another rainbow mane and tail. And here's the one that's the, the slim line with the cloud builder using rainbow colors. This is the one I used. Never play leapfrog with a unicorn. I think I'm giving this one to my sister. She will laugh out loud. There's some butterflies and birds in these sets as well. So I hope you got some great ideas in taking a look at all of these new products from Missing Stamps. Don't forget to leave a comment on all of the videos for a chance to win. And let me know what your favorite card is in the comments below or what products you absolutely loved. I am so happy I got to bring this to you today. I want to thank you for stopping by and leaving a comment, be sure to give me a thumbs up as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the Miss Ink channel. We are so happy you're here and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.